Hey guys, I'm BitVault7, one of the hosts of Crypto Creamers. If you're like me and you check your Bitcoin balances multiple times a day, like we, like we all do, because we're maniacs, um, and you have a cold card, and you don't know how to see your balance from your cold card on your iPhone, this tutorial is for you. A couple days ago, I ran a poll on Twitter and uh, I asked everyone if that's something that you were interested in. And the majority of you said, I like tacos and that you did want to see the tutorial. So let's get started. Go ahead. Okay, guys. So the first thing you were going to want to do is this is just a suggestion, but you could plug in your cold card directly to your laptop. But the whole point of having a cold card is to have it not directly connected to the internet, right? To make it as cold as possible. So I just connect it to directly to the wall. You could also do this with a portable battery. For the sake of this tutorial, I made a stupid pin, one, two, three, four, five, six. I also loaded about $100 worth of Bitcoin onto this for the sake of the tutorial. So these words, right, they're, they're safety words. And, and what, what they do is that they mitigate against phishing attacks. So for example, if someone got a hold of your cold card and they uploaded a nefarious firmware on there, Ideally, these words would not be the same, right? So it's a really good idea to memorize these words. Also, another thing that would happen is this green light would turn to red, right? So those are two contingencies that cold card put into their products, right? So we're going to press OK because I do recognize those words. And then you're going to put in the pin again. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you press OK. After you do that, the cold card takes a little bit to load up and you're going to find yourself in the menu. You're going to go to advanced. And once you go to advanced, you're going to go to micro SD card. Once you go there, you're going to look for this option, dump summary. What that does is that it exports basically your XPUB files to the SD card. Your XPUB files basically contain all the addresses associated with the seed that's on the cold card. And that's exactly what we're gonna need to um, show the balance on your iPhone. So let's do that right now. It's gonna ask you if you're sure. Oh, uh, another thing I wanna bring to your attention is that you don't want people knowing your XPUB file for the sake of privacy. Your funds are not at risk, but if people know your XPUB file, they could know exactly what you're doing with your Bitcoin because they'll know all the addresses associated to that master public key. Okay, so as you can see here, it's been exported. So let's move on to the next part. You're gonna to want to plug in your SD card into your PC or Mac. Uh, when I travel, and I'm currently traveling right now, I, I take my Mac with me just because the user interface is better. I do have a tower at home with Windows and Linux, but when I'm on the go, I, I really like the user interface of Macs. It's just easy to use. I know I'm going to get a lot of haters for saying that, but it's a personal preference, right? So you're going to want to open the SD card, and you're going to want to look for the file. Once you open the file, you're going to have to look for the correct XPUB or Y file. So this part's a little bit complicated. When you first created your Bitcoin wallet with your cold card, you got a couple options, right? You had the legacy, which was, you know, the original Bitcoin addresses that started with one. You had the I forget, it's called Bit49, and they start with three. That's the most commonly used right now um, that I've noticed on the blockchain. And then the latest one, which is the native SegWit, which is the Bit84, and those end with BC1. I'm sure that you guys have seen those on the blockchain recently, but they're not as common. So for the sake of this tutorial, I used the Bit49 because those are the ones that are most commonly used. So I recognize the address that I sent $100 worth of Bitcoin to, right? So I'm going to copy the YPUB file. I'm going to either, you, you have a couple options, right? You, you just want to make sure that you use something end-to-end -end encrypted. So you could either use ProtonMail or Signal. I like Signal because it's convenient, it's quick. 
And the good thing about Signal is that, let's say someone SIM swaps you and they get a hold of your cell phone number and they you know, initialize Signal. Signal has an option where you could set a pin. So even if they SIM swap you, if they don't have access to that pin, Signal won't let them log in. And even if they have access to that pin, even, even if they log into your Signal account with your cell phone number, they're still not gonna have access to your old messages, right? So I think Signal is ideal for this. So I'm gonna go click on Signal and I'm going to paste the YPUB file and that's gonna send it to my iPhone. Hey guys, so you're gonna want to open up your Signal app like I have here. You're going to copy the YPUB file that you just sent to yourself from your PC or Mac then you're gonna to want to open the blue wallet. It's gonna ask you to create a wallet. You're gonna click on that. And then you're gonna click on import wallet. You're going to paste the YPUB file and you're gonna press import. And the wallet is going to scan through all the addresses associated with that seed. And there you go, that's how you do it. And now you could check your balance from your cold card on your iPhone at any time. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Once again, this is BitBolt7, uh, one of the hosts of Crypto Creamers. If you like the content, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to comment on my Twitter or on the YouTube.